Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at Google Chrome 70. This is the latest uh, browser from Google and Chrome 70 is uh, basically was released yesterday October 16th and it is um, of course um, in a um, there's a few little new things in here to examine. First, if you want to know if you have Google Chrome 70, go on the upper right corner, click the three vertical dots, go into Help and About Google Chrome. You should see it upgrade or update if it uh, has not updated, and you'll be at version 70. So what's new in here? What did they actually do? Well, there's uh, one of the little things that people were going nuts that has been changed. In Chrome 69, there was um, a lot of people were a little mad. Why? Because Chrome 69 would log you into Chrome when you log into a, a Google service, and people didn't like that. So now, when you go into your settings, you will have, and it's set by default, by the way. You go into settings, you go into advanced, that, click the down arrow in advanced, and go into privacy and security. And now you have allows Chrome sign in. By turning this off, you can sign in to Google sites like Gmail without signing to Chrome. So you now have this slider, and it's actually uh, here. So you see it? You can turn it on or off if you wish. Um, so this basically is something that a lot of the uh, people were going nuts about, and um, you will now be able to actually just sign into services without having a Chrome sign in in your um, browser. There's also a new way of push notifications. Uh, of course, in the continued way of Google Chrome trying to give the uh, websites that are unsecure a uh, unsecure look, uh, is the fact that now when you actually enter a, a, a password, so if you go into an account for, or a page that has a you know, password login, and you are not in secure HTTP or HTTPS, you will have a not secure warning and red icon when you want to enter, um, you know, username or passwords. Also, if you're in sc full screen mode, if you actually have one, you go to a website and you need to actually uh, send, you give your credentials to log in securely to a site, it will actually exit from full screen mode in order for you to see at the top that you're really on the the good web page and the secure web page before you do so. Beginning with this version, if you right click on Chrome extensions, you will get much more information about the options and the things that you can do. So it will reveal the new options to set add-ons uh, that are permitted to run and of course this uh, means you will have more options as to what you can do with the um, different um, extensions that you have in Google Chrome. If you are on a MacBook Pro you will have the access uh, to Touch ID on websites. You'll be able to use Touch ID to log into a website. AV1 video streaming. What is AV1 video streaming? So of course the uh, one of the, the the codecs used for video streaming right now was VP9, which was pretty much the standard, and um, it was used in priority. Now it's AV1 that is the next generation um, codec. Apparently, it's 30% more compression. That means less download for the same video quality apparently. It's rolling out. It will of course roll out also on mobile devices which means if you are tight on data um, YouTube will soon support this meaning if you go to watch YouTube videos it'll default to AV1 format which means that you'll have less data used on the, um, on, on the video view. Apart from that, of course, they're still tweaking and looking at the material design, which was actually um, the big feature of, of version 69, which gives it a, a nice, clean, and nice modern look. 
Um, there's a lot, once again, a lot of security fixes in here. Chrome 70 comes with tons of security fixes. So that alone, even if you don't care about whatever other options there is, that alone means you should actually upgrade because you will have a more secure browser. Um, anything from, um, you know, uh, just security flaws in the browser. Um, all, every Monday also tweak the, um, you know, mitigation for uh, the uh, Spectre and Meltdown flaws. So all of that together means that you should upgrade to the latest version of the browser if you can. So it's available to download right now. Just uh, go and check your updates. If you're using Chrome, you should be pushed to version 70 automatically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.